Hello everybody, this is Katya Eckhart, welcoming you again to my YouTube channel. This evening I wanted to share a very wonderful dress with you. This is a Michael Kors dress that I recently purchased. And I really like it because it has a kind of a retro 60s look to it. And I wanted to complement it with these white gloves. The other thing that I wanted to share with you was a new bedtime story. So, without further ado, let me tell you the story of the boy who became a girl in order to tame a wild white hawk. So once upon a time, there was a village by the edge of a very large dark forest. And the people in the village had been living there for many, many centuries. But one day, a strange thing happened. And that is that this very fierce predator bird began to swoop down from the treetops in the forest and it began to attack the people as they would walk along the edge of the forest. And some of the attacks were very violent so that sometimes the bird would come down and pluck somebody's eye out, or it would poke somebody in the arm or in the leg and cause a lot of bleeding. So the people in the village didn't really know what to do about this bird. It was a very odd looking bird because it was a hawk, but it was snow white. And nobody had ever seen any kind of hawk that was such a pure shade of white. That was a very unusual and never before heard of incident in this village and in the surrounding area. So the people didn't know what to do. Now, living in the village was a very handsome and even beautiful boy who for some reason felt very much motivated to try to stop the bird, the hawk, from attacking, but not so much by hunting the bird or chasing it away, but trying to understand why this creature was attacking people in the village. So he went to the villagers and talked with them, asked them to let him try to figure out what was happening with the hawk, why that was happening. And the villagers decided to give him a chance. They said, well, if you can at least stop the white hawk from attacking us, then we agree that we will not try to shoot it or kill it or get rid of it in that way. But you have one month to do this. Well, let's say one week to do it because a lot of people were being hurt. So the boy, the very beautiful boy, went to a very small hut on the edge of the forest and decided to try to fulfill his mission there. And what he did was, because it was in the middle of the summertime, he opened up all the windows and doors of the hut and simply waited for the hawk to appear. He didn't go into the forest trying to find the hawk or hurt it or hunt it or anything like that. He decided that he would wait for the hawk to appear. So a, a couple of days went by and the hawk had not appeared, but it also hadn't attacked anybody. So the townspeople sent a messenger out to the hut, and when they learned that the boy was still interested in trying to, to understand the hawk, and they knew that the hawk for some reason had stopped attacking people, they decided to give the boy a little more time. So for the next few days, the boy went into the forest by himself, not to hunt the hawk, but he noticed that there were many white feathers that the hawk had shed lying on the ground on the floor of the forest. And so he went and began to gather these feathers. He then took them and sewed them together into a dress made out of the feathers that he then put on. And he began to think of himself not as a boy, a beautiful boy, but as a beautiful girl. Now another thing about the hawk's feathers that, were very, that was very interesting 
is that the tips of the feathers had very bright colors on them. And for some reason, the girl now thought that the best way to understand the hawk was to become more like it. And so in addition to wearing this dress that she had sewn from the feathers, the fallen feathers of the hawk, she went back into the woods, and each time she went, the hawk never would swoop down on her, so she took that as a good sign. And she would pick blackberries and raspberries and blueberries, all kinds of wild berries of different colors, and she would then use the berries after she crushed them to color the tips of some of the feathers on her dress the same color as you could see on the tips of the hawk's feathers. So after she'd done that, she continued to wait, and she continued to keep all the doors, all the windows and the door of the hut open in the hopes that the hawk would one day appear. So a week went by, another week went by, and still the hawk didn't attack anybody else, but it also didn't appear. So the girl, now wearing the white dress, the dress out of white feathers with the beautiful colors on the tips of some of the feathers made from the wild berries, she was about to give up and return to the village when one morning she went out to get some water and there was the hawk on the ground and it was just staring at her, staring at her. And all of a sudden it was as if she were looking into a mirror reflecting an image of herself because the hawk with its white feathers resembled her with her white dress, but for the hawk also. It was as if she was a mirror image of the hawk. So they became very connected with one another. And as the sun rose over the tops of the trees in the forest, the hawk all of a sudden became a very handsome prince, a very handsome man, with which the girl fell in love. And the prince, the very handsome man, fell in love with the girl. It turned out that a witch had cast a spell on the prince, turning him into this very ferocious hawk. But because the boy, who became a girl, was patient enough to try to understand the hawk, and waited until the hawk came around, the spell was broken. And so the hawk, who was now a beautiful a very handsome prince, and the boy, who was now a very beautiful girl, fell in love and became married, and they lived happily ever after, as often happens in many fairy tales. So that's the story I wanted to tell. And I want to just take one more turn or so in my dress. And I'm also, in light of my last video, I'm wearing pantyhose with a tight pair of panties with a very comfortable tuck. So those of you who watched my last video can remember that. I'm wearing my white Steve Madden shoes to go with my outfit. So, this is Katya Eckhart, and I thank you for joining me again with another video. I look forward to talking with you again. I also wanted to thank all of you who have left very kind comments on my YouTube channel. That means a great deal to me. So thank you, and please continue watching. I look forward to seeing you again, and I hope that everybody has a good night.